Today we are going to start chapter 4 in your book, which is all about triangles. We will be doing section 4.1 and part of section 4.2. First we're going to start with how to classify triangles. There are two ways to tr classify triangles. The first is classifying by angles. You can have a triangle where all three of the angles are acute angles, or angles between 0 and 90 degrees. This is called an acute triangle. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle, or an angle greater than 90 but less than 180, and the other two are acute. Finally, there's a right triangle where one of the angles is a right angle, or 90 degrees, and the other two are acute angles. A special type of acute triangle is called an equiangular triangle. The name equiangular means equal angles. So in an equiangular triangle, all three angles are congruent, and because it's an acute triangle, all three angles are acute. The second way to classify triangles is by sides, or specifically the number of sides that are congruent. In a scalene triangle, none of the sides are congruent. In an isosceles triangle, at least two of the sides are congruent. Those words at least are very important because the third category, equilateral triangle, is really a special type of isosceles. Equilateral triangles have all three sides congruent. Because all three sides is at least two, an equilateral triangle is also an isosceles triangle. Now I want you to pause the video and do this graphic organizer activity. Open this website, which is a graphic organizer website. You do not have to create an account unless you want to save your graphic organizer. If you do not create an account, you can take a screenshot of your graphic organizer when it's finished. Start with a main heading of classifying triangles and branch off to by sides and by angles. From here, I want you to go ahead and make a graphic organizer of the rest of the ways to classify triangles. Remember, that an equiangular triangle is a special type of acute triangle and an equilateral triangle is a special type of isosceles triangle. Go ahead and pause the video and do this activity now. Okay, now I have another activity for you. There are no written instructions for this activity, but I want you to open up Geometer Sketchpad Create a triangle and measure the three angles in the triangle. Using the calculator under the number heading, go ahead and add those measures of those three angles in the triangle together. Move your triangle around so you get different measurements. Go ahead and pause the recording and start this activity now. Okay. Hopefully, with your activity, you found that the angles in the triangle always added up to 180. This is the triangle angle sum theorem. For your final activity, what I want you to do is prove the triangle angle sum theorem. To help get you started, I have done the given and the proof and drawn a triangle ABC. For this proof, you will also need this line AD that is parallel to BC, so I've added that as the first step of your proof. Remember that you want to prove that the measures of these three angles add up to 180. Go ahead and finish this proof and be ready to go over it in class the next time we meet.